right, what's going on YouTube? Well, today I'm basically going to show you guys how to replace a current car in GTA 5. Now, this is a little bit different than adding on a car. I'm sure you see in other videos how you have to, uh, you're able to um, create your own basically model in the game files, and that model will be, now be a part of your game. I think a little bit different in this video because I'm going to show you how to replace a current mod. So, if you want to uh, replace like a police car, you know. Make a actual Bugatti in the game, stuff like that. Especially really rather simple. Um, uh, basically, what you do is first off, you go get OpenIV. Go type in OpenIV to Google. It'll come up to this, or I'll just put the links in the description. That way, you can find it easier. Um, this is the car we're going to be installing it's, uh, Christmas Tree Suburban. Uh, installing or downloading. Rather, uh, looks like this Christmas tree. All right. So after you get all that stuff downloaded, installed, um, first off, what you want to do before you touch any type of game files, you want to go to uh, your game directory. So for your Steam users, it's going to be Steam, Steam apps, common, and for Photo Five, that's be your game directory. All right. You see, I have right here. I have a mods folder. This is a, a necessity, to me it is, a folder you want to have. It's in case you install a mod and it breaks your entire game. And then you have to sit there and install a million gigs of <laughs> game again. And the GTA 5 is a pretty big file. So, in this mods folder, which basically what you do is you right click. You uh, go to new, you go to folder. Um, you type, make it say mods. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to X64. You see audio. This is where you, uh, SFX. This is all your, um, basically your audio. If you're going to install sirens, you're going to install guns, new gun sounds, explosions, stuff like that. What you want to do is you want to copy. You want to paste that into the mods folder you just created. You also want to copy, uh, this update folder to your mods folder. And right here you want to get x64 e i and w so scroll down you see x64 e you got i and then you got w what you want to do is you want to copy each one of those put those in the mods folder and then you just create yourself a mods folder now if a game would crash or a mod would break your game you can just either take out the folder or do whatever because your actual default games aren't default files rather aren't touched so makes it much simpler and a lot less hassle if you install a bad mod I and mean, there's some bad mods out there you really won't know until you install a game and it don't work or crash your game stuff like that so there's that all right now we got that set up we we'll go to our mod we got downloaded here we want to open up open IV now when you first when you guys first open up open IV it's gonna um, it's gonna run you to like a, a setup it's gonna ask you for your game directory and all that for your steam user it's gonna be steam um, steam apps common and then your game um, for people who download it from rockstar I believe it's gonna be rockstar program files rockstar games and then Grand Theft Auto 5 I'm not sure I don't have the rockstar version I have a steam version but after you get all that stuff set up you're gonna come to uh it's gonna open up like this. You're gonna see Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5, Max Payne. You wanna go to Grand Theft Auto 5, click Windows. I'll let it do its thing, let it load up. It's gonna come to this right here. First thing you wanna do is well make sure your mod folder is there. Make sure you you know it's there. You wanna go up to uh, ASI manager. You want to make sure you have ASI loader openiv.si installed. It's going to be different than this. Mine are green, but yours is going to be like bluish or it'll come up red up here when you first get into it. You don't have it installed. Just make sure you install it or certain things won't work in the game. All right, now we got all that set up. Now it's time to pretty much have some fun. All right, when you open up a file, 
we're gonna see that um, it has YFT, HI, YFT, and YTD. These are your vehicle models and textures that Grand Theft Auto V has for all of its vehicles in the game. So basically to install, most of these files have a readme. Um, this one particularly doesn't, but that's why I'm here. I'm gonna help you install it. So basically go to car. Um, what you want to do is you want to go edit mode. While in edit, editing mode, all changes will be automatically saved. Yes, you want to continue. So go to mods or in your mods folder. You want to go to update x64. You want to go to DLC packs. Now you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. Um, your latest patch day uh, folder. That's the folder you want to use. So it may be 15, it may be 16, mine 17. So uh, we're going to install ours in 17 here. If you don't have 17, don't worry. Just install it in your most recent patch day pack. It should work. So after you click the patch, you want to go to DLC to RPF. You want to go to common. Oh, wait. Actually, no. You want to go X64. You want to go to levels. You want to go to GTA 5. You want to go to vehicles.rpf. And so you're going to see a bunch of different uh, models and stuff like that in the game. Basically, what you want to do is go over here to your folder where you download your uh, car. And pretty much have them all. Drag. Drop. That is all there is to it. Honestly, I mean, that's, that's as simple as it gets. <laughs> Alright, so make sure it's in the game. You want to go to uh, the YFT. Double click it. And you see here we have a Chevy Suburban. That means it's going to be in the game. And that means our mod installation was a success. So after you install the mod, basically what you do is go up to uh, click edit mode and pretty much it, you're pretty much done. You want to click exit out and pretty much it. This XML file right here is uh, for ELS. I'll do a separate tutorial on how to install ELS. Basically what this does is has all the configurations for the, that particular model. So I'll show you a definitely a later video on how that works. But we're going to go right here. We're in game now. Let's see what it looks like. Let me get. Uh, bah, 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 bah. See if we. Where that always was. Okay, let's see if that uh, suburban installer or our trainer here. I believe it was FBI 2. And you see right here we have a... Wow. You see right here we have a brand new Suburban. After we just got hit by a car. Alright, here it is. And it's short as a little Christmas tree. Alright, also the lights you see are ELS lights. I'll definitely show a tutorial later on on how to solve them. But yeah, well, here you have it. Christmas tree suburb. Looks like Christmas tree. Alright, guys, that about do it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, um, I'll definitely sure to answer them if I didn't clarify something specifically in the video. Um, I'll definitely be able to respond. If I need to, I'm going to update the video. That way, I can explain something clear for you guys. That way, everyone understands. And you can still have some on some mods and whatnot. Um, basically, just uh, download Open IV. Um, download Open IV. Download your mods. Go to Ed Mode, and just drag and drop. Basically, all you gotta do. I mean, it's not hard, but it can be confusing to some who has never modded a game before. So. Also, definitely make sure you add mod, make a mod folder. Because the last thing you want to do is screw up your entire game, and you have to sit there and download all the gigs again. I've got quite a Well, that's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day.